All right, this is going to be a Boker Bulldog unboxing. I just got this Boker knife uh, a couple of days ago. I got it on uh, one of the one of the auction channels, and for the price I got, for the price I paid, it was just at fifteen dollars. Uh, thought I'd take a chance on it, and I'm glad I did. Um, and the re one of the reasons I got it was because I carry this Boker, this Boker Subclaw. It's in my EDC right now. I carry it every day. It's a great little knife. G10 scales, and also because I have this uh, Boker Magnum Pocket Kukri. I've always liked this, and the G10 on it is kind of slick, but I really like this. Nice and heavy. So let's look at the Boker Bulldog. Okay, first look at the Boker Bulldog. I notice it's got G10 scales on both sides. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, including the pivot screw that hold it together. It's got a lanyard hole right about there. It's got what appears to be a uh, Strider-like thumb hole. It's that elongated thumb hole deployment. I'm not really good at doing that, so it comes out pretty fast. And let's see, let's take a look at the knife. Uh, it's overall is eight inches long. It's got a three and a half inch blade. It's got kind of a modified drop point, which I'm going to turn into a modified drop spear point because I'm going to sharpen about half of this edge right here. So it's going to be more or less spear point. And what else? Uh, the weight on it is a pretty good size. It's uh, six, 6.3 ounces, and it's four and three quarter inch closed, which make a really good impact weapon. Thumb grip over here uses as an impact weapon if you don't want to pull a knife on somebody. You can use it that way. It's got a nice stainless steel pocket clip. Uh, you can't change the pocket clip configuration, so it's right side tip up only. So it's got pretty good weight. It's a very cool looking blade. I really like it. Let's take a look at the uh, engravings on it, or at least the logos on it. Magnum by Boker. That's what it says there. And on this side it says 440 stainless. So it's pretty cheap steel. And you might be able to read right there where it was made. It's not a USA made knife. But for the price I paid, like I said, it was 15 bucks. Uh, excellent value. It's got good weight to it. Be a good defensive knife. You can grip it this way. You put your finger in here and the uh, serrations on the liner lock. You can also grip up farther. There's a little hollowed out point right there. And one of the best things about this knife is the, uh, the thumb serrations. They're huge. I mean, you can really dig your thumb into that, give you a nice traction, and get some good traction on that blade. So yeah, for 15 bucks, I uh, recommend it. And that's about it, except for a size comparison. I'm going to compare it to this Kershaw Red Blur. About the same size as a Red Blur. I'm also going to compare it to a Sog Aegis. About the same size. I think the Boker outweighs both of those knives by about two ounces. That's kind of the size. That's a medium sized pocket knife. But for the price, uh, 15 bucks shipped, I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, that's the Boker Bulldog. And last thing I'm going to do is give a sh quick shout out to Rocky Rody 999 He uh, does some knife reviews and gear reviews, and he lives in Minnesota. So Check them out, guys. Give them a sub. Okay, that's it for the Boker Bulldog unboxing. Knuckle bump.